Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> and this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So, big question: Are we bottom of range again, um, or is this the the start of something bigger? And uh, if you look at it on the daily, that is still a clear range, even though we do have uh, a big engulfing bar there. Uh, what is making me lead towards this is just consolidation. Is pay attention to the oscillators here on the daily. They have separated. They are bo um, pointing to the downside. Um, I am expecting some kind of a catalyst coming. It's either going to come from Europe or it's going to come from the USA. But there is a catalyst that is brewing. Maybe not this week, but there's definitely something brewing. This is a clear range right now uh, in an uptrend. So we've moved strongly to the upside. We've gone sideways and uh, could be just a consolidation at a major level. Uh, and the major level, you'll pick it up on the weekly, is these uh, previous highs here from uh, 2021. Uh, the weekly obviously is looking a little bit sad because we do have the oscillators group the upside, so it is indicating that you need to be a little bit cautious about jumping in long at this level. Obviously, that's going to be a little bit too expensive. If you're looking for opportunities lower down. Now, what is lower down? There is a number you can pick up any one of these tails to the left here. And uh, that would be an opportunity for lower down. But I think that is probably the most logical one because it lines up with this gap here. So that's on the weekly. Obviously, we're not trading the weekly. And I definitely would not be wanting to jump in short here, even though we do have a two hanging men and potentially an engulfing bar that is forming. We've got a lot of data still. We had a bank collapse last night um, in the US, which uh, basically sent the US markets into turmoil. Um, that wasn't the result of what happened here. So there was something else in Europe. But then we've also got the dollar that's all over the place. And the dollar, the euro, uh, euro dollar does impact um, the DAX as well. So looking at the three hour, pay attention here. So we've got the oscillators group to the downside in the zone of strong support. And uh, still above the 155. Trend is still technically to the upside on the three hour as well, but um, you know, do you buy here or you know, do you try and anticipate a break to the downside? Now, I'm not convinced I want to be shorting at the moment, and I'm also not convinced I want to be long. And the reason for that is if you look at this on the hour, the last four days it's been below and above, below, above, below the moving averages, and uh. We all know those have been following me for a while. That is not structure I like playing. So this is confusion. It's typically a range um, or some form of consolidation, but it's very rarely something I like trading. So for shorts to materialize, this is the area I'd want to pay attention to, 15.864. I'm not prepared to commit too much to that trade either. Um, and that is if I take it. So any bit of structure here, I'd want to have probably a 30, 40 point stop loss. And I'd be aiming for 140 points to 15, uh, 15712. That is pretty much the, the only short scalp that I would be looking at. And you'll see it on the 15 minutes as well. Look at the oscillators all over the place. Nothing really materializing. We've got gaps all the way down. So you can see all the way down here, we've had gaps. There's more there. And whenever you see gaps, look what happened here. Yesterday, it was the day before yesterday, gaps to the upside. And I said to you, watch out for those gaps. Pay attention to these areas, but pay attention to the gaps as well. And you can see there's the bank collapse there. And this was um, this Europe coming down. Obviously, somebody knew something, to be honest, uh, for that to happen. But anyway. Uh, I'd be very cautious, cautious going short and cautious going long. We do have the Feds coming out tonight. And typically what happens when the Feds come out with an interest rate announcement in the US, markets are flat. So I wouldn't be too surprised to just see us range in this zone and sort of form a squeeze on the Bollinger Bands and just waiting for the Feds announcements. Um, you know, if it's uh, higher than expected, we probably could be the catalyst to drop below this zone. If it is um, much stronger than expected or much less than expected, then 
you can expect a pretty solid move and that may just actually be the catalyst to break above 15.974. So everything hinges on the Feds for today and then obviously you've got non-farm payrolls tomorrow. So this week is going to be another week of really tough trading conditions. So um, yeah, if you're sitting at home trading full time, obviously what you'd be looking for is the five minute charts. And uh, I would basically be looking at any break below the moving averages. I'd be looking at the five and 15 minute charts and say, so long as we're below the moving averages, we're short, we're above the moving averages, we're long. So that's the only way that you can actually sort of trade this. And you can see the five minute gaps that we had all the way down. This is a very, very gappy. Anyway, that's kind of my view for today. Uh, not really convinced we're going to move much at all until tonight. Um, and then it's pointless trading this after hours. Rather trade the S&P. But um, it might sort of set the scene for tomorrow. Uh, nevertheless, that's kind of the way I'm looking at it today. Sit on my hands very tightly. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.